My children, you must love one another, humbly acknowledging your nothingness before me and others. Even as you see that you are wiser, more gifted, more holy than your brother or sister, see to it that you compare yourself only to me, your God, and therefore see you are nothing. Look up to all as if you were their servant. This pleases me always. Peace grows in the heart of my lowly ones and I dwell there within them in rest. The riches of this world must not occupy what is most important to you. Give away anything more than what is necessity, as this will count against you. You must accumulate in this life graces for the next, as it will soon be too late for a change of heart and awakening. Cleanse the mind, the heart, the conscience and walk freely with me in the newness of the life I am about to show you, my beloved of my heart. All that I have ever done and allowed in your existence has been to further you in holiness and virtue. Thanksgiving, adoration and praise will be evidence of growth, which will continue into eternity. I need your holiness in order to further my church on earth. One by one, come to me for transformation. I seek a personal relationship with each of you. Do not allow fear or failure to cause distance to come between us. Every good inspiration and thought originates from me. Give the glory to your Creator, your Redeemer and Lord. Seek me often, especially when attacked in moments of uncertainty and despair. Wounded pride often rears its ugly face as anger, but you must remain silent, calm. Remember, you cannot do anything without me. Why are you surprised when you fail? How is it that courage fails you, except when you sin against me? I never will condemn you, but declare only love and pity to those who refuse my graces.